Dave Brown right along the ringside and son of a gun. We're looking forward to today's program. Got a great group here today, and we're going to have an opportunity to see some outstanding matches, I hope. David. Oh, we got a six-man tag team match that won't quit coming up for the main event a bit later on today. Before we get to that, though, the Nasty Boys, Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sag will be here. Jeff Jarrett, Billy Travis also will be looking at Rocky Johnson. And Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka will also be on the card today. My golly, that's enough, I would say, right there. there. We're going to have to get it underway right now to get it all in. So we're going to take time out. We're going to be off and running on a great championship wrestling program in just a moment. I could have bought a better TV. Oh, come on, dear. We came to see a washer. I could have bought a better TV. Well, the department store didn't have that one. I could have bought a better TV. For less. For less! Should have gone to Circuit City. With Circuit City's vast selection of brand name audio, video, and appliances, and guaranteed low prices, you'll never be sorry. Could have bought a better TV. Finally, there's an intelligent choice. Circuit City. SK is having a super summer clearance. Our summer suits are on sale for just $99.97. Our sport coats are on sale for just $69.97. Our dress slacks, they're on sale for just $29.97. Plus, SK's entire stock of cotton sports shirts and summer shorts are on sale for just $12.97. That's SK's super summer clearance. Well, I guess that covers everything. SK famous brand menswear in the Eastgate Shopping Center, 5058 Park Avenue. First shovels of dirt have been turned on a real highway program for Mississippi. Zach Stewart is the highway commissioner who's building roads in North Mississippi. He's the highway commissioner who is seeing that North Mississippi gets its rightful share. More than two-thirds of the highways, which will be built in the first phase of the new highway program, will be in North Mississippi. We're on the right road. Give Zach Stewart an endorsement term to complete the job we've begun together. Elect Zach again. Highway commissioner. It's Liberty Chrysler's $1 over invoice clearance sale. $1 over invoice up to $750 cash back, $2,000 minimum trade-in allowance. Come to Liberty Chrysler and make your best deal. Well, I learned a long time ago it was a lot better to uh, listen than fight sometime. And rather than say we're going to get in the ring, George Barnes said he had something to say, so I'm going to stand by and listen. Russell, yeah. do you want to know what the worst possible thing that an Australian can do? Uh, well, I'm sure you're going to tell me anyhow, George. Go ahead. The worst possible thing that an Australian can do is to imitate a Yank. I mean, we have, we have those dudes in Australia that walk around with the Levi jeans and the cowboy boots and the cowboy hat and they sashay around York Street in Sydney and, you know, people just treat them with utter contempt. And that's how I have become contemptible towards Dundee because he is nothing, nothing more than an imitation yank and there is one thing in the world Australians hate is somebody that imitates an American. Why would anybody in the world want to imitate an American? Now can you answer me that Russell? I'm not even going to try, George. If that's your attitude about it, that's your attitude about it. Now, you're knocking Bill Dundee on. Bill is living his lifestyle, and here you're putting him down for it. I mean, who does the guy think he is? Does he think he's Elvis Presley? I mean, Elvis Presley's dead. I mean, look at Elvis Presley. Is he anybody to hold up and say, God, style yourself after this man? I mean, he died, and we all know how he died, don't we? Okay. Just sure. another American that... that that wandered off into the sunset. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you this, Russell. There are two names in my mind that are like gods to me, and they won't mean anything to you, but to me they are gods, and their names are Hal Morgan and Jim Deacon. Now, you won't know these men. Right, I don't know. You don't, but they were my coaches when I was in Australia, when I was just a itty bitty boy, and I was growing up, they were my coaches. Now, Jim Deacon and Hal Morgan, they took me aside one day and they said, George, Billy's trying to catch up to you, but he will never ever do it. He said, because you just happen to be the best wrestler that we have ever seen in our entire lives. 
Now, I'm talking about wrestling. I'm not talking about punching, kicking, eye gouging. I mean, I'm talking about the skill of wrestling to be able to take somebody down and to put a hold on them and to be able to sit out and come around and come up with holds and counter holds. And this is my speciality. There isn't one person, one wrestler in the whole of the United States of America that I could not out wrestle. Oh, You've taken in an awful lot of people in there, George Barnes. Oh, I've taken in an awful lot of people. But I haven't seen one yank, one yank on his best day that could beat an Australian. And I'm talking about an imitation yank that thinks he can beat a real Australian. Well, let me tell you something, baby. You might like to wander around with your Elvis Presley gear on and your sequins, but Jim Deacon and... Hal Morgan would be spinning in their graves if they could see what you're doing now, baby, I'm telling you. They would be spinning in their graves. And I'm going to... I tell you what, Lance. I will tell you this. I will appease Hal Morgan and Jim Deegan for what this imitation yank has done. Okay, George, I think we've uh, heard enough. We've got wrestling matches coming up here. We've got action coming along with... Pat Tanaka and Paul Diamond will be out here before long. We also have a brand new uh, video that you're going to be interested in with Billy Brick. Not now. We got matches coming up. Get some TV time right now. I'd Cut like to get a match up. going in the Cut ring everything right now. I got something very important that's going to rock your stock. And everybody out there checking out the TV screen right now. You know what, man? See, I've been doing some thinking. I told all these people out here. It's no secret. I'm well educated, you understand? I can come out here and look as fine as I want to look. You understand? Go, boy, I hear you. So let me tell you something. I've been wondering why Jeff Jarrett, Bill Dundee, Rocky the Oreo Johnson, Jerry Lawler, why all of these guys are up here and all the talent, the class act is down here. And I'm sick and tired of it. So you know what? I figured it out. It's because those guys are organized. Well, let me tell you something right now. You better listen up and listen good, people, because what you're about to see is something that is not a figment of your imagination. It's live and in living color. From here on out, we're going to be organized starting today. Tell her, baby. I'm telling you right now. Don't refer to me no more as Brick House. That's right, From here on out, I'm the prince of the commission. Prince Thanks. of the Commission. That's right. That's right. I am the Prince. And you're going to be hearing a lot from the Commission, baby. Let me tell you something right now. Yeah. I hear what you're saying in there. I'm not hey, sure. Hey, I... Hey, hey, I, what's the story? I thought you guys was about prime time. I thought you was with me. What's the way? Hey, we're part of the Commission. We're talking to slime like you, so just beat it. Oh! Okay, as I was saying before, you're going to hear a lot of things about the commission, you understand? Uh -huh. We're going to get things done. That's right. Organization is what it's all hey, about. Wait a minute. Wait, I thought this was my tag team. What are you doing out here with these guys? I, 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 I understand. This is prime time. They're, they're well, with apparently me. something's hey, happened. You don't know about downtown. Just a minute, downtown. Wait just a minute. You understand, homeboy? Hold it down for a minute. Now, listen. I have plans for you. You understand? What? I have plans for you. If you want a position, I've got a good plan for you. You can be with me and the commission, or you can be against me or on your own. And you know what happens if you're against me? You're going to be through dealing. <laughs> so let me tell you something right now. You with the commission or not? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> well, I thought Don't these guys thought you guys were with me. What? Bruno, you're stuttering. I never heard you stutter before. I'm telling you, I'm only going to make this off for once. Take it right now, brother. You can have it all. Or you can well, have Well, okay, I hate well. Oh, guess. he's not one to argue very much. No, no. Well, wait a minute. Pat, go get the loyalty test, brother. <laughs> The what? <laughs> the loyalty test. You think I'm going to incorporate somebody in the commission without proving their lawyer to me, the prince? Oh, no. There may be two more to this, Bruno, you than you so originally. Is it out to have somebody pass a loyalty test? Let me tell you something, lads. You come out here, you question my intelligence every week. And I'm about to question your intelligence. You. Yes, you do. You question my intelligence every week. And I'm sick and tired of you. I'm going to put you in your place. And if you don't like right, 
I will find somebody to do the color commentary here because you've been <laughs> biased and prejudiced and you don't call it the way you see it. So you better watch your act, brother, because like I said before, we're organized. That's right. But okay. you know what this is? The shoe shot box. <laughs> you know how to use it? I guess. Oh. <laughs> Let's see how you use it. Oh, you're looking for a uh, shoe shot. Well, it looks to me like, Bruno, the situation is pretty clear. Uh, either you're out with no wrestlers to manage, or you're going to have to shine the prince's shoes right here. A little advice over here. Don't do it, Bruno. I guess it's like Mama says, it be that way sometimes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. well, there's a living proof of I'd rather switch than fight. Downtown Bruno going to work. I, I, I don't know how much experience you've had there, and now he's doing a little better on it. Don't feel bad, my man. There's two types of people in this world. You got the ham and eggers, and you got people like me, the steak and potatoes. Let me tell you something, Bruno. You made the right decision, brother. Because if anybody opposed the opposition with the commission, if anybody feel like they want to try to do anything to stop the organization right now, let me tell you something, you're in for a rude awakening. Because there's nothing nobody can do. There's nothing nobody can do to stop us. Let me tell you something right now. These people right here, these two men, are going all the way to the top. There's no more penny any anymore. There's no more penny pushing. Pat Tanaka and Paul Diamond, Brother, you made the best decision of your life because let me tell you something right now. I will rule professional wrestling. This is it. This is my world. Everybody else just lives in it. Let me tell you something right now. The Prince is definitely what's happening. And like I told you before, Bruno, that's all right. You passed the test. He passed the test. All right, Bruno. I know that's got to be a major thrill for you in your life. You finally got into the commission right here after shining the shoes. Well, I don't see any belts around any of the commission members. Well, let me tell you something right now. It's funny you should bring that up. You know why? Is it true that I heard Eddie Marlin has an open contract with every wrestler here in the Mid-Southern area? Can you stand here and tell me that's not true? It's no secret. Yeah, he's got open contract. Well, let me tell you something. That's nothing but manipulation, you understand? From here on out, there are no more open contracts, you understand? Anybody want to deal with my wrestlers, they have to come and talk to the prince. And if I see fit for them to do it, they will. And if I don't, there ain't nothing Eddie Marler can do. There ain't nothing Jerry Lawler can do. There ain't nothing nobody can do but live with it. Because I'm going to tell you something right there. This is reality, and this is life. And I'm going to tell you, I am what's happening. The commission will reign supreme, baby. Okay, well, uh, we heard your important announcement, and you're in the commission. I guess you're in the commission, too. Well, downtown Bruno got initiated today. Well, I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more from the commission okay, as time goes. Oh, oh, thanks a lot, Don. I'll take care of my own business for you. Right now, we're going to take time. I will be back, I promise you, in the ring here in just a moment. It's a blowout birthday party at Fleming's, and you're invited. Fleming's is celebrating 41 years with Memphis's biggest blowout furniture buys ever. Like Velvet Rockers, $88. Big Deluxe Bedroom Set, $499. Oak Entertainment Center, $89. Birthday with bedding, $159. Global Sofas, $377. Oak Dining Room, $429. Helium balloons for the kids, free ice cream cake for everybody. But the icing on the cake is Memphis's best selection of fine furniture at incredible savings. Fleming's blowout birthday party has everything. All we need is you. The mental demands on you are very, very severe. Just automatically, you get off the edge and you get a headache. And uh, there's nothing you can do about it. It just happens. And that's the reason we always keep some goodies in. Because goodies gets rid of a headache in a hurry. And when you work for a living, there are times when you really need that. Some people said I moved too fast to state auditor, that I shouldn't be stirring things up. They're the other people who said a state auditor couldn't take on corrupt politicians because they were too powerful and that corruption was a way of life. 
These are the same people that for 50 years have been telling Mississippi to wait. The Mavis record of cracking down on corruption. His audits have recovered over $1.7 million. 31 officials forced from office, indicted or convicted. Across time. Across the galaxy. A hero is coming. To save us all. Dolph Lundgren from Rocky IV is He-Man. Frank Langella is Skeletor. Masters of the Universe. Live the adventure. Rated PG. Starts Friday, August 7th at a theater near you. Well, it looks like we saw the birth of a new uh, rebellious outfit today, David. We've seen a few from time. This is the commission. I want you to bear that in mind. And we talked to the prince of the commission. Well, we're going to be talking right now to the superstar, Billy Dundee, coming out here. And I don't think you'll be seeing the Prince handling any of his business at all. Bill, my boy, good to have you out here. We uh, Obviously, you know that we talked to your fellow Australian a little bit ago. I'm telling all I can tell you is, brother, I'm just glad I was born uptown and not downtown. You groveling little swine, you do anything to stay in the wrestling business downtown. If I wouldn't clean nobody's boots to do nothing, Jack, but that's another story. And George, my boy, you said it, Daddy, you said it. Technically, we probably are the two best wrestlers around here because that's what we done. We went down there and we would start go behind, take downs, in and out, switch in, switch out. You're right. We probably are two of the best technical wrestlers in the world today. But nobody seems to want to wrestle today. They just want to kick and punch. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do, boy. When we climb in the ring one-on-one, -on -one, because I've wondered about this for a long time, who was the best? Now, okay, Jim Deacon and Hal Morgan don't mean nothing to Lance Russell. You're right. But they were also my coach, too. You and me walked across that lawn together in Sydney, Jack. We walked the whole way down down Balmain, and we got into that gym, and they stretched us, and they rubbed their face in the mat, and that's right. And sometimes we said to one another, we ain't going back. But we did, because that's what Aussies are all about. Heart, gut, that's right. Paul Hogan sometimes gives the wrong idea of Australia. That's right. I'm not knocking that, Daddy. I'm still Australian. But I want you to remember this, George. I'm Australian by birth and American by choice. Now... Thank you. Even Lance can't claim that. He can just say he's American. I'm American because I want to be here. I went downtown, got a green card, and that means I can stay here. That's right. I'm American. And if you want to call me a stinking yank, that's what I am, Daddy. I'm American by choice and awful proud of it. And when we step in the ring, we're going to wrestle. And your temper's going to get the better of you because you're a bad-tempered, loud mouth, braggadocious lout. And I've always worried about it, George. Who was the best? And I'm sure everybody out there has wondered about it. When he grew up with his brother, his big brother used to beat him up. The little brother used to wonder. I wonder if I could really take him one-on-one. -on -one. Well, brother, we got the prime situation. Because it's just George Barnes. And it's Bill Dundee. And everything Jim Deacon taught you and Hal Morgan taught you, he also taught me. Now, we're going to wrestle, Lancer. There ain't going to be no kicking. There ain't going to be no punching. And somebody's going to get pinned. One, two, three, because that's what wrestling's all about, George. And I'm just telling you before, brother, I take my hat off to you because you're one fine athlete. But I've wondered for this for all my life. When we used to walk around them bars and get into fights, I used to wonder. I wonder if he's really as tough as he tells everybody is. Oh, yeah, and you could beat them marks up real good, Jack. That wasn't real hard. You could beat them up real good because they didn't know nothing about wrestling. But this little yank does. He knows an awful lot about wrestling. So come this week, Daddy, when we step in that ring, I'm taking you down, sport, and I'm pinning your shoulders to the ground. One, two, three, then I'm going to stand and sing Stars and Stripes, boy. Bill Dundee! I'm a Yank, Lance Russell, by choice. Live here in America, and don't ever forget it, sport. The superstar! And I think he made that pretty clear, the way he felt about it. That'd be kind of an interesting situation, because this barn does have a vile temper. Oh, boy, yes, indeed. I'm telling you. Oof. Okay, Davey, we're ready for action in the ring. At uh, the freezer up here, William Thompson, his partner, Ed Maddox, in the ring with him right now. Their opposition coming in. These guys were members of the newly formed commission. Uh, the prince of the commission formed this. And uh, 
pa uh, Patanaka Paul Diamond scheduled to go here, although we haven't seen any sign of him just yet. They You're going to have to learn to report to work on time. Yeah. I'll tell you for a fact that the commission is so organized. Yeah. Here they come here right they now. Come. A whole bunch of them. Yeah, the, the, the prince, uh, also known as Brickhouse Brown, uh, with them there in the huddle. Uh, Bruno, who was uh, out here shining shoes a moment ago, also in the corner. They have a little huddle, and up to the ring apron go Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka. We are set to go with a one-fall 15-minute time limit match. Referee Jerry Calhoun, as soon as we get the warm-up jackets off and uh, these guys step through the ring, we'll be okay, underway. Right, you got it. At bell time, and we are off and running with the big freezer starting out here against Paul Diamond. Let me tell you something, Lance. I know it's a pleasure for me to be out here. Because let me tell you something, this is the greatest wrestling talent anywhere. And you're looking at two of the greatest tag teams that I've ever seen before in my life. That's knocking Paul Diamond. No more prime time. Devastation Incorporated, baby. Look at how vicious he is. I love it. Yeah. Right. Like to see a little bit more wrestling out of him than gouging and digging and pounding with the right hand. That's we don't get paid by the hour, you know what I'm saying? We do not get paid by the hour. We get paid to get a job done, and that's win. Pat Tanaka with William Thompson making uh, the tag, and Ed Maddox steps in there with Tanaka. Boom! There's that vicious kick from Tanaka. I'm so proud of this guy. I mean, his feet, his hands, everything on the man's body is a lethal weapon. Big clothesline, and Ed Maddox hits it flat on his back as Tanaka won. Whoop, lets him up. Doesn't get defended. I thought they didn't get paid by the hour there. I wonder why he didn't finish. Big chop. Tanaka heads over towards Diamond, wheels him oh. around out of the ring, and on the floor, Paul Diamond now comes over with Maddox. Picks him up in the air. Big slam as Ed is pounded down on a very hard studio floor. Big chop coming from Paul Diamond. And boy, oh boy, you could hear that son of a gun rattling for miles. Tanaka in the ring. Ed Maddox down out on the floor. Diamond grabs him, fires him back under the bottom rope. And there's the tag. The bigger Canadian steps in with a... so dangerous in your life, Lance. What must be going through all the tag team minds right now as they look at Devastation Incorporated? Paul Diamond and Pat Tanaka. What's going through Billy Travis' mind right now as he sits wondering what can he do? The devastating machine. If you want to wrestle with a bit of Lance, you just see a good wrestler move right there. See, I told you he was biased. So he was I didn't say they couldn't wrestle. It's a question of when they use it. And as they come up with that double-teaming move where Tanaka takes that side saddle DDT, gets a one, two, three, and... The winners are Paul Diamond, Pat Tanaka, William Thompson fired right over that top rope. It's over with, but the action goes on. Uh, trying to throw everybody out of the ring here. A little demonstration. Yeah, look at Brickhouse down here. A little insult. Uh, the win goes to Diamond and Tanaka. 2.34 the time on it. Two minutes, 34 seconds, the win to Diamond and Tanaka over the team of William Thompson and Ed Maddox. George Barnes back in our presence again. Yes, George, I thought we heard from you a little earlier. Well, Russell, I've just heard Elvis Presley's clone out here going on about this match about how I'm going to lose my temper. Well, let me tell you something, Russell. The first thing that was taught to me was keep your cool, George. It was keep your cool. Eddie Marlin informs me that this match is going to be the first person that starts punching and kicking will lose this match. Well, let me tell you something, Elvis Presley Jr. This little boy doesn't lose his temper. I've learned to keep my cool since I was 13 years of age. I don't lose my temper. I don't yell. I don't scream. I just go inside myself and I say, God, think about what you're doing. But when I get out of that filthy, stinking little creep, I'm going to break his arm, I'm going to break his neck, but not once will I kick him. And not once will I punch him, Russell. But I'll promise you this. 
He is going to be humiliated for the dirty, filthy, stinking little American that he is! Johnson at a cover. One, two, this is over. So much for that match. Oh. Music still going for the Soul Man. 14 seconds of time on the match to win the Rocky Johnson. Boy, did you see him go up on those drop kicks, Dave? Yeah. Man, I'll tell you, you can tell he is in fine fettle and great shape. Ready to do it to it. Rocky Johnson, an easy winner over Rooster Cockburn, who really started it all. We'll take time out. Be back in a moment. Brother Hell for Jolly Royal Furniture. Jolly Royal announces free credit for one full year. No finance charges. No interest charges. Not on anything. Plus, great sales prices. And look at the brand names. Sealy, Singer, Bassett, Broyhill, Universal. Sales prices, no interest charges, big brand names. I'll tell you, this is the greatest thing since they started putting elastic in underwear. Only a Jolly Royal. When it's this good inside... Lovers, Cowboy Sid, and Sheila the Fire Breathing Wonder Horse here with Crystal's free Hot Deal Coupon Book. Sizzling with savings of over $28 on Crystal Food and loads more. Bring these coupons to Crystal and save over $3 on great eating. And take these coupons to service merchandise and save big on all of these. Best of all, we'll show them, Sheila. Crystal's Hot Deal Coupon Book is free. So blaze a trail to Crystal and pick up your free coupon book. <laughs> Whoa, it's hot. Announcing. The factory authorized clearance sale. Right now, it's your participating Dodge dealer, where you can get great deals on a huge inventory of 1987 Dodge cars and trucks. Right now, loads of full size pickups, tons of full size vans, sporty cars, and family cars, front wheel drive, and four wheel drive. Each one we have is clearance price to go. And each one we build is backed by our new 770 protection plan. Dodge Country on Covington Pike, the new Graceland Dodge on Elvis Presley, Shelby Dodge on Mount Moriah. Okay, it's time for us to add a new segment to our championship wrestling. This is the Price is Right segment of it. Yeah, I got to tell you, we are set and ready to go with our wrestling uh, Price is Right. We, uh, we let the L out of wrestling, so don't tell me. I know that for a fact. Now, what I'm going to tell you is that Eddie Marlin came up with a unique idea that we thought would be a lot of fun. And by God, let's try to add it where we can. This is a match that's called the Price is Right wrestling match. Now, what you've got involved in it are the uh, four wrestlers participating, Jerry Lawler and Rocky Johnson, 
Don Bass, and the Prince, Brickhouse Brown, will be the ones involved in it. But this will be the first time, to my knowledge, that we've had an opportunity to have the wrestlers set the price that they're going to pay in a match should they lose. And that's exactly what our game is all about today. So we're ready to play the Price is Right from now on in this segment. Call me Lance, Bob Barker, Russell, and I want to tell Jerry Lawler and Rocky Johnson, come on down! Yeah, our first two contestants coming down through the audience, and we're ready to go on this Price is Right, which is going to be a very important match. Hey, the King and the Soul Man, you guys ready to play? I'm ready. This okay. is going to be great. Well, the first thing that we're going to need to do is, can I get you over here on this side? All right, and the first thing I want to do is to uh, bring your opponents in here. So, if they will, Brickhouse Brown and Don Bass, come on down. Well, he's got the ever-present guitar. Okay, Prince, whatever. Prince, will you come on in here so we can get this match set and ready to go? But now, both of you guys agreed on this match that you were going to put up a price and you were going to play the game, and it's going to be a situation where you get a chance to determine what is going to be given up by the other team. So you agreed to play it, so let's not have any of this bad mouthing out here and get into the game. All right, here's the way we're going to play it. What we have to do is to establish what price these wrestlers were individually ready to pay in order to participate in this match. Now, the first one that we're going to talk about is going to be, and this is an important fact of it, the opponents, you understand that, the opponents get to choose what price the other team pays for it. So what we're going to do is reveal the prices that are available to you for each individual in there. You guys make the choice. First name up is... Let me, let me, understand, let me understand this. In other words, I, I mean, this uh, so, supposedly Eddie says these prices, somebody's going to get pinned in this match, and whatever price is agreed on, that's the price that... Per, the person that gets pinned pays the price, right? Right. Both of you on this team, both of you on this team, okay. have put up the prices that you're willing to pay in this match. Now, you understand that if you lose the match when it comes up, friend, that's the price that you're going to pay. So that's the way it is. You get to choose your opponent. So let's take a look. First one for the king in here is going to be his 1987 Corvette. Boy, that's a beautiful car, too. Huh? Rocky? What I'm saying is if he gets pinned now, he got to give up that new Corvette. Well, that's not all of it. There are two prices for each individual wrestler. And let's take a look and see what the second price that the king has put up here. The Southern Heavyweight Belt. Those are the two prices. Now, what you will do is decide between those two in the event Lawler loses the match exactly which one of those prices he's going to pay for it. How about it? Well, talking it over, let me tell you something right now, you know. I don't need his car. I wouldn't be seen driving anything he's been driving anyway. Oh. And I can afford my own Corvette. All right. But the Southern title is something else within itself. I think I'll do that. I'll take the Southern title. Southern title is the one. You understand now, Jerry. That's what's been picked by your opponents, and that's it. So let's pull down the 87 Corvette. Jerry Lawler will be putting up the Southern heavyweight belt. Okay, Rocky's got two items that he put up there. Let's see what the Rock's going to be going for his opponent's head shave. Man said it. Head shave. And on the other side of it, if I can get my sheet down, here we go. Leave town for one year with a non-return clause in there. Both of them. Now, you understand if either one of them, anybody loses it, whatever their price is, that's what they have to pay in the match. Okay, you've had a chance to look. Head shave, leave town for a year. How about well, it? Well, one thing about it, we're not worried about his wrath. And what makes me hot, he's out here shaking and a-jiving. It's not but one musical person around here, and that's, that's me. Right, oh. How about put that chrome dome up our shave out head, baby? Right. Huh? That head not ahead need to come off anyway, because we don't take shave care the of head, it. right? We doing him a favor yeah. anyway, right now. Nah. So shave what you, you're you're shave picking? Shave the head. There it is. Pull this one down, and there are the two items that are prices to be paid in the event that either Jerry or Rocky should lose. Southern heavyweight belt, head shave for Rocky Johnson. Okay. Let's take a look now to the other side. Now, you understand, you guys take a look at this. 
and you'll have a chance to pick exactly which one of them that you want. For Don Bass, the singing cowboy, head shaved is one of the items, and the other one is quit singing. Those are the two items that he has put up. <laughs> hey, the audience is the audience is trying to choose Everybody right now. Everybody knows he can't sing anyway. He's got no singing career. He's just out here and he lip syncs and he tries to play like he's playing that guitar. He doesn't know how to play it. So I would say, what do you think, brother? Well, how can he? How can he quit singing if he never started to begin with? <laughs> I, I think the thing to do is, is, is let the idiot come out here and try to lip sync some of those songs with a bald head would be the best thing, don't you? So you want the head shave? Okay, you hear that, Don? Head shave. So we'll pull this one down and move on to the next. Brickhouse Brown, The Prince is the last one and the two items that will be involved in prices that he's willing to pay in this match should he leave, uh, lose, leave town for one year. And the other one is to throw $5,000 out to the crowd. Now there's that. He gets out here and he starts that talk and telling everybody how much money he got and how cool he is and all that jive. I kind of like to see him take five thousand dollars though and throw to all these good people. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Well, we, I guess we're going to be influenced a little bit by the crowd, but it would sure be nice not to have to listen to that mouth run for about a year. <laughs> but by the same token, I'll tell you. Uh, let me let me ask you this, uh, and uh, if we can can we decide the denomination? How many ten dollar bills would that be? Five hundred ten dollar bills? Y'all yeah. got to be crazy, man! If you think I'm gonna throw five thousand dollars out to get <laughs> <laughs> hey, now this is agreed. If you lose the match, whoever loses it has to pay the price that is chosen by their opponent. Let's do it. Let's do it that way. Let's let have him bring five hundred ten dollar bills down there to ringside. If you lose, you just pass them out to the crowd. Down there. Whoa! And so let's pull this one down, and there you have it—a review. Jerry, the Southern Heavyweight Championship belt. Rocky, head shave. Don Bass, head shave. And the Prince, $5,000 to be thrown out to the crowd in the event that you lose the match. Hey, this is the way it is, and you guys are on the contract. You know you got the open contract. It's signed, and that's exactly the way it is. Oh, that's a little game that we've still got to play. Now, yeah, take a listen. Just pay attention to what I'm telling you. Right now, we have the names of a couple of people who represent people to referee in this match when it takes place. We're going to have a little trivia quiz on wrestling. And the team that wins, it gets up to 400 points first at $100 an answer in there, will be the winning team and will get to select the referee. Everybody understand that? You get 100 points for each one of the correct answers in there. And let me pass out the items that will be used across the way, right over here. Jerry, if you guys will hold this. Now, when you... When you think you know the answer, you'll sound the horn. And this one, wait a minute, I'm going to get it. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me I got to bend down and ring this bell if I know the answer? And there it is, right there. Just pull a rope, ring the bell. Try it. You'll see it works. Just pull a rope right down there and ring the bell when you guys got the correct answer. The only bell I know how to ring is with this white cross. Well, you ring that one. You better or you're going to end up losing it. Every okay. Like right there. What's wrong with you? Complaints, complaints. You both got a noise device when you think you know the answer to that. Because this is the way it is. Now we're ready to play the game. You understand when you know what you think you know the answer, you ring the bell. You guys sound your air horn over here. As to, well, so I haven't asked a question yet. Give me a break, will you? All right. Let's play attention here on our Price is Right Championship Wrestling game. Here's a trivia question now. Former... <laughs> With Pika. Don't let him see it. Okay. Former world champion Lou Fez became famous for using what finishing move to win his... Okay, you guys got it? 
says press is absolutely correct. So chalk up one hundred dollars. Hey, listen, when you think you know the answer to the question, ring the bell. And if you're first, you get a chance. Whoever sounds it first. Okay. Now, take a listen to this one. Three of the most notorious tag teams ever to wrestle in the Mid-South Memphis area were the interns, Don and Al Green, and the Von Brauners. Name their manager. Hey, I know it. I know it. I got it. You got it. Saul Weingroff. You're Jimmy correct. Jimmy Kent. And All right, baby. You Dr. Got Ken Ramey. Oh, 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 oh. uh, no. It. No. 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 I'm sorry. You're wrong. What? You're wrong. You're close, but you are wrong. How about it on this side? You have a chance. Two of them were right, I think. Dr. Yes. Ken Ramey, the intern. That's right. Uh, what's the other? Uh, Saul Weingroff, Devon Bronner's, and the Don and Al Green was Sir Steve Clements. That's correct. Yeah. Another hundred points goes over here. Hey, it is right too. Steve Clements was their manager. I don't know nothing about this man. It's about these hillbilly hicks around here. I ain't never seen you, man. It's so last year. What do I know about all this stuff around here, man? Okay. You all right? I'll ask you, wrestler. You're complaining about wrestling questions. Here is one. one. Ask him one, Lance. I'm gonna do it too. <laughs> pro football player. What pro football player for the Green Bay Packers, Richard Appelus, became known as what pro wrestler? Hey, he sounded first. You're standing here to argue. How's he gonna know right up to a question that ain't been asked? Well, he understood it from the first word of it. It's been asked, Dick right. the It's been asked. It's been asked, and it's Dick the Bruiser, home. Dick the Bruiser is absolutely right. Three to zip. 300 points right now for the team of Lawler and Johnson. You guys, hey, remember, whoever wins this to the 400 gets to choose the referee. All right, what's the score right now? The score is 300 to zip. That's what the score is with Lawler and Johnson out in front. Okay. You, you ask this question fully before you answer. Well, I'm going to ask the question. All right. Lance Russell used to be a pitch man for a certain brand of men's suits in Memphis. Can you name the suits? You had a chance. You didn't ring the bell. You guys where you get these tennis pushing suits from? You had a chance to ring the bell. We already have a sound over here. Can you give us the correct answer? Uh, those infamous Baxter suits. Is that right? <laughs> that is correct. And here you hear it. 400 points and four straight. They pitched a shot. I'm sorry. The rules of the game, Eddie Marlin cleared all of this. I don't know where you get your... Boy, I tell you, all you want to stand there and argue, you just lost an opportunity to pick the referee. So we're going to step over to the board and reveal the two choices that are available for refereeing the match. One of them is Big Bubba, and the other one, and wait a minute, the other one is the Moondog Spot, and I don't think there's too much question right here. We get our choice? You get your choice. You won the game. What about Moon Dog's not such a bad guy, is it? Uh, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go with Big Bubba. No. Big Bubba will be referee in the match. Big Bubba, that's it. Let me tell you something right now. This is nothing but a conspiracy to get rid of me, the prince. Bubba, that big sucker, the one took the southern title from me the last time. And I know what you're trying to do, King. You ain't getting over on me like that, man. You can't have Big Bubba to me like that, man. Break out. You can't do that to me. Baron Square. He got no referee's license. He ain't got no business. He does. Both of them were prepared with the referee's license on it. The winning team got to pick the referee, and this is it. This is the way it goes. The match will go when it comes up with Lawler putting up the Southern heavyweight title. Head shave for Rocky Johnson. Head shave for Don Bass. 
And Brickhouse gets to throw $5,000 out to the crowd. Like all. And I told you, Jerry Lawler, I told you good. I ain't open up my kick butt. But right now, I done ripped the lid off. And Monday night, Bubba ain't going to help you. And you, Rocky the Oreo Johnson, I'm going to tell you something. God, I know you do. Let me tell you something. I'll do you a favor by saving your nappy head. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. Yeah. Okay, we've heard all we need to hear out of it. So... There it is, our Price is Right championship game. Let's not have any fight right here in the studio right now. So we will congratulate the winning team on this side of it, and we'll be looking forward to the match when it comes up. It should be a dance. That's Monday night. We're looking forward to it. Be sure you've got $510 bills, because it's going to look nice seeing them fly through the air. To the He's the one that they're gearing for. Don't get out and get a job and get their own money. Hey, the they ain't getting out of mind. If you lose it, you better have $5,000 in there, friend, or you're all done, and that'll wrap it up in a hurry. Yes, Eddie? Let me ask one thing. Okay, good. I love this. These I love four this men idea. out here, each one of them's got a lot involved, a lot at stake, and it's been a lot of interference from outside, from the wrestlers. So we got a big cage. 12 foot high, 26 foot square. Okay. We'll put that cage all the way around the ring. Whoa! There'll be no interference from that. So outside. the match is going to be taking place inside the cage. Inside the big, huge cage that I we had built. My kind of guy. You behind the conspiracy, along with that redneck over there and this Oreo right here to get rid of the prince. But let me tell you something, Marlon. It ain't going to work with me, you understand? You can get two or three cages. I don't care because I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm not responsible for what happened Monday night. Okay. Let me, let me just say one thing. You can't tell us nothing. You might access something, though. <laughs> Rocky Johnson, Jerry Lawler, and they'll be in doing battle Monday night down at the Mid-South Coliseum with Brickhouse Brown and Don Bass in the Price is Right match. And remember what those penalties are. Should be a whale of a night. Big Bubble will be the special referee. And that's not all the action that we've got. Let me run over for you all of the action. First, I want to I want to say this, Dave. It is students' night, and you take this, it'll be kindergarten through the 12th grade, all students, kindergarten through the 12th grade. So popular the last time, a couple of months ago, that we had this. It's coming back again. $2 to general admission. You can't beat it with a stick. $2 to general admission, any student from the kindergarten to the 12th grade. Championship wrestling, 8 o'clock, Monday night, Mid-South Coliseum. We'll be opening up. With Alan West going against Cousin Bluey, that's uh, George Barnes' cousin. He brought up here from Australia. Pat Tanaka will be in a single match against John Paul. That ought to be a dandy because I'll tell you, Paul has given everybody he's faced a whale of a match in there, and Tanaka will be no exception. Uh, Pat Tanaka. Paul Diamond will be going against Mark Starr. Think that won't be a good one? You've got two physically well-equipped gentlemen in there. They'll be facing each other for a dandy. Big grudge tag match. We'll have Big Bubba and the Mighty Goliath with Jeff Jarrett in their corner against the Moondogs and downtown Bruno in their corner. And then following that will be a 10-man elimination match. This is going to have an opportunity for whoever wins the 10-man elimination to uh, end up choosing a, uh, a title match that they would like to have. One side, the Moondogs, Tanaka Diamond and Cousin Bluey against Big Bubba, Goliath, Alan West, Mark Starr, and John Paul in that 10-man elimination. A return of the Southern title match, Jeff Jarrett and Billy Travis, who got through and passed the Nasty Boys in their last encounter by disqualification, will be facing Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sag for the Southern tag titles. And then a grudge match, a dandy. Bill Dundee, George Barnes, and remember, this is a situation where the first one that kicks, throws a fist, and that loses the match, you'll have a chance to see who is the better of the wrestlers in that match. And finally, the big championship wrestling Price is Right match where Jerry Lawler puts up the Southern belt, Rocky Johnson puts up the head of hair, uh, Brickhouse Brown, the Prince, will be throwing $5,000 out to the crowd, and singing Don Bass has also put his head of hair at stake. The referee will be Big Bubba, and all of that included on Monday night's action. Why don't you get everybody together? Come on down and visit us. Remember, students, $2 uh, for general admission students from kindergarten through the 12th grade. We'll take time out. Be back with more action. <laughs>
but the biggest threat to Burger Bopper will come from 7-Eleven, because now 7-Eleven has the work. With fresh lettuce, tomato, onion, and nine other toppings, all free. Thus, making it easy for 7-Eleven customers to get a hamburger, hot dog, or sandwich any way they like. But is Burger Bopper worried? Of course not, because with our the works now at 7-Eleven. Five professional politicians are running for governor. They are all good men. They are opposed by a businessman, Mike Sturdivant. To decide between them is tough. But remember, only Mike Sturdivant had the courage to demand evaluation of teachers by testing their students. Only Mike Sturdivant wants to speed up education reform to keep kids in school. Only Mike Sturdivant has made education an issue. He spoke out. He displayed courage. From the politicians, there was only silence. Rent to Own is easy at Network Rental. They have everything I need for my apartment. Quick service and no credit check. All my friends rent from Network. They referred me here. When you rent to own from Network, it's like buying made easy. There's no credit requirement, no cash deposit. Rent for as long as you like or return it, and fast services included. Televisions, stereos, appliances, furniture. It's the easy way to get the things you need. Call our Metro-wide number now. Call now. When you call the Network. FM 100 presents Race for the Red Hot Integra with your chance to win a brand new Acura Integra worth over $18,000. Two ways to qualify. Register at Acura of Memphis or any Cecil's at the Coca-Cola display and then listen to FM 100. If your name is called, you will have 10 minutes to call 726-0503 or be the correct caller when we say and win an Acura prize pack from Acura of Memphis, Coca-Cola and Cecil's. Plus qualify to win the brand new Acura Integra from FM 100. Introducing at a total of 478 pounds from Memphis, Tennessee, Keith Roberson, and from Arkansas, Buddy James. And against him at a total of 438 from Lexington, Kentucky, Billy Travis, and from Hendersonville, Tennessee, Jeff Jarrett. 
It's going to be a one fall. 15 minute time limit match. Jerry Calhoun, the referee, by the way, this is a non title match. Starting out, Keith Robertson going against Billy Travis. And look at Travis. Now, brother, this Robertson is a big son of a gun, and he crotched him, scooped him up in the air, and bounced him off that mat. Robertson weighs in, uh, Robertson rather, weighs in at, uh, at 243, so that gives you some idea. Just uh, imagine picking up almost 250 pounds. Look at that. Straight up in the air and right out of the mat. Jeff Jarrett with a cover on Keith. Got a one count, that's all. Keith Robertson. Held near the corner. Billy Travis, after the tag, drops down. Upper arm across the shoulder blade. Whoa. He wasn't prepared for that at all. It looked like Billy was going another direction in the Sun of County. He took that arm lock and rolled him right over and down. It drops down on the arm. And Travis. Oh. Open-handed slap. Robertson answers with a doubled-up fist. There's a tag by Billy. Jeff Jarrett. Billy Travis. Both of them put him into the ropes. Billy steps out. Jeff Jarrett stays in. Put a tag in quickly. Mark of a good tag team. Said it many, many times over the years. But whoa. Did Billy? <laughs> did he steam? Woo! About ringing bells. Keith Robertson. A uh, big forearm hammers Billy across the back. We haven't seen uh, Buddy James in the ring as yet. There's the tag. Must be hearing me. He missed. Billy rolled out of the way. Oh, Buddy James didn't learn the first time. He went back once more. Billy did the same thing. Comes up with a good right hand. Look at this. Billy Travis. A little spring off the rope. He drops out with the upper arm. Billy using the hair to pick him up, and the referee gets on him right away. Jeff with a big cross kick. Count of one, two, how about three? Two minutes, 16 seconds. The winners, Jeff Jarrett and Billy Travis. All right, a good victory for the Southern Tag Champs in a non-title bout as they showed their versatility, the activity, and they come up the winners. We're going to take time out. We'll be back as we'll be looking at action with the Nasty Boys in just a moment. You're from, Karen. Deer Park, Texas. Texas. Mm -hmm. Is that where they grow the TV guides out there? Well, bigger and bigger. Why do you read TV Guide? It has a lot of information and interesting stories, lots of gossip. Freedom to read TV Guide is one of the original Ten Amendments. There's freedom of the press, freedom of religion, freedom to read TV Guide. I take it in the bathtub with me and I read it from cover to cover. If you don't read TV Guide this week, you might be missing something. It's the best magazine in the country. Get out of here. Get out of get here. You get out of here. Let me do the interview. <laughs> Happy New Year, Happy New Year. It's the middle of summer, but 87's over at Lewis Ford. They're getting ready for 88. It's not quite New Year's, but we got to make room for the 88 models. Right now, get a new 87 Taurus for just 11850 or an 87 Escort for just 6214 during our 87 clearance. All these cars have six years or 60,000 mile warranties. Lewis Ford, I-240 at Summer Avenue. Your hard-earned tax dollar. Is this the dollar that was meant for education? For Medicaid and assistance to the elderly? Or for industrial development? We can't afford waste and mismanagement. As state auditor, Pete Johnson will demand that your tax dollars be spent for their intended purpose. Pete Johnson, state auditor. Strong leadership for an important office. Performance barriers are meant to be broken. The sound barrier. Man walks on the moon. And today, in cotton, a new insecticide is breaking performance barriers. With longer residual control, so you spray less. More killing power in hot weather. And bigger yields with greater profits. Asana. Watch Asana break performance barriers in your cotton. Asana. Only from DuPont. 
Okay, get yourself a uh, paper and pencil and Let me tell you one thing right now. Jarrett and Travis, you were beaten in the ring. We had you down. And Tanaka and Diamond had to come in. And they have a feud with you or whatever. But Diamond and Tanaka, you want to feel with our match again, you'll go down just like all the rest. Then Let me tell you. get near the ring when we're wrestling Jarrett and Travis again. It's all over for them two bozos. They cost us some belt. Come on here. Wet. Huh. I'm telling you, we're out here to get the belt. That's all we're here for. And it looks nice around our way. You got Let the me number one tag team in the world right here, That's and them right. two morons cost the belt. This is what is going to happen to them when they come out like Was that Was a again. disqualification. Right. There's no question well, about that. we're not that. even worried about that. Right. We're worried about <laughs> Sunday in Jackson, baby. Our dream match. Yeah, yeah. Our dream match. Who, who are we going against? I don't even know. Uh, who cares? Yeah, who cares? And Alan West, Mark Starr, I think, are the guys that Oh, I'm sorry. Let me tell you one thing. For that bozo. It's a dream match for oh, us, and it's a nightmare star. for you. There, Randy Hales and, and Eddie Marlin. Is it going to be a dream come true? Is it going to be a dream come true? Wait a minute. What, what we got a dream match. You yeah, jerk. I understand. You know what he's talking about? A dream match against everybody all you working people like to get the boss pencil pit up for move that's right Randy and we got them after we got have them a two gold other rolex sports. on and look at no gold rings no gold chains and women around he's gonna be neither he's going against the nasty boys and we're gonna rip them two farmers apart that's right wow. one's the toothpick and the other one's a fat old man that don't stand a chance against us and they're trying to say they thought they were so cute giving us two guys Keep and everything down, like that Keep giving us down. the matches we want underprivileged in the top tag team in the world. Wrong! When they're in that ring, I'm going to rip them from sweat to sweat! Yeah, tell em, tell em. Well, first thing you got to do is get past the team that you're going to be facing. We're not even Jackson. worried about oh, that because oh. we want the big high pollutes that sit on their can all day and do nothing. We're going to take that to Jimmy Toothpick and that fat old man and we're going to kill him and rip them apart. You know, it's a nightmare for you. So get ready on Sunday, Daddy. Get ready because we're going to rip you apart. Okay, that's in Jackson on <laughs> Sunday at the Jackson Coliseum. The Nasty Boys, Brian Knobs, Jerry F Sag. I want to uh, take this chance to tell you folks out there who have inquired about tickets. Yes, we do have tickets available to Studio Wrestling. How do you get them? Very simple. If you got your pencil and paper ready, could get ready. You write in a request. We're asking four, unless it's a group. Keep it to four tickets for the individuals. If it's a group, there's another procedure for you. But you write in to Wrestling Tickets, WMC TV, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, 38114. Uh, let me give it to you again because uh, you may not have gotten all of that down. Wrestling Tickets, WMC TV, 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis 38104. Now, very simple. There's no charge for the ticket, but you must include a stamp self-address envelope. Address it to yourself, put a stamp on it, don't seal it, fold it up and close it with the request for the tickets, and your tickets will come back to you in your envelope. It's a first come, first serve. The tickets uh, are being filled and uh, satisfied within a couple of weeks or three weeks or something like that now. Very quick. So take advantage during this summer opp opportunity and during the summertime. Come on down and be with us. David, All we right. got some out of town action. Yes, we up. do. Love to see everybody down here for championship wrestling. Also, a couple of reminders for you, and then we'll tell you about the out of town action coming up. First, tomorrow, 11 o'clock here on TV5, it's the Jerry Lawler Show. The King will have. Pepper Rogers as a special guest tomorrow. I saw Pepper playing in the Pro-Am out at the uh, Federal Express St. Jude Classic. Looked like he was having a good time. He'll be joining the King tomorrow at 11 o'clock. And also, the special uh, group from Philadelphia who is going to be joining the King. They're here with us today. They'll be with the King tomorrow. I think they have a special award for the King or something yeah, like that. Well, so. we're delighted to have them. They're all from the Philadelphia area, the uh, Squared Circle Fan Club. And I got to tell you, they're a great group. We had a chance to talk with them last night, and they'll be... Jerry! That's okay, that's okay. Okay, okay. okay. Were you going to mention that, or can I mention the fact that, uh, real quickly, this afternoon, from 1 o'clock until 5 o'clock, I'm going to be out at the uh, grand opening of a new Hardy's restaurant out at uh, Get Well and...
Shelby, Shelby Drive, Drive, right. right. I want to invite everybody out there. We're going to have free autographed pictures for them. And also, I've got some bunch of rest, about 50 wrestling tickets we're going to give away to people that come out there to see us. So uh, we're going to be out there from 1 until 5 today. And then uh, also Thursday, night. Thursday night, Thursday night, and also Friday, Thursday night at seven o'clock, I will be out to the sign autograph meeting everybody at Goldsmith at Hickory Ridge Mall out there. And that's Thursday night at seven from seven until eight, and then again on Friday morning from eleven until noon. Mm -hmm. So come on by and say I'd like to see everybody. Sign some, give them some free pictures, autographs, and we're going to have free wrestling tickets to give away at both places. Okay? Very good. That's right. party. Right. 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 Three, one and five this afternoon. So make plans to go on out there, and then Goldsmith. 7 8 Thursday night and then Friday 11 a.m. until noon. Goldsmiths and Hickory Ridge Mall, by the way. Okay, out of town action. Uh, Nasty Boys have already mentioned they're going to be in Jackson, Tennessee tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Nine big matches. It is dream match night in Jackson, Tennessee. Plus, look at this. First time ever in Jackson, and I don't recall too many of them anywhere in the world, a battle royal which takes place in a cage. That is all. Tomorrow night, Jackson, Tennessee, 8 o'clock wrestling time. Super Box card. office will great wow. card. Box office will be open at 4 o'clock, so you can get your tickets in advance. Thursday night, 6, Boonville, Mississippi. This will be wrestling under the stars at the Northeast Junior College Football Stadium. Title matches included on the card. Also, there's a grudge match there, too. That's in Boonville, Mississippi, and it's Thursday night, August 6. Also, same night, Thursday night, the 6, Pickett, Arkansas, at the Clay County Fair. At the fairgrounds, title match, elimination tag match, too. You just uh, get your tickets right now for that one up in Pickett, Arkansas, Thursday, the 6. Wednesday, the 12th of August, Paris, Tennessee. This will be at the Henry County Fair. Tickets are on sale right now. On Friday, August 14th, in Ashland, Mississippi, at the high school, sponsored by the uh, North Benton County Firemen, so uh, we're the cause there. Uh, Paris, Tennessee, uh, again, we said, uh, is coming up on Wednesday the 12th, and the Ashland, Mississippi, on Friday the 14th. On Thursday, August 20th, championship wrestling will be in West Helena, Arkansas, at the Burton High School. And on Friday the 28th, there will be championship wrestling in Houston, Mississippi. That's the action coming up around the territory. Oh, boy, I love it tomorrow in Jackson. What a dynamite night that's going to be over there. We're going to take time out. We'll see the Nasty Boys in the ring in action in just a moment. Mississippi is a good state and getting better. Too many politicians want to talk about the bad things and not about the good in Mississippi. They said we were broke, but we closed the year with over $100 million. One candidate travels the nation making headlines by telling folks what's wrong with Mississippi. Another spends a million dollars on TV to tell us how bad education is, but not a dime to tell us of the good that we're doing. We need to correct what's wrong, but we need to talk about what's right. Someone for us, Ed Pittman, governor. At Prior Olds, we're expanding our Hugo department and having our first ever Yugo Spectacular. Buy this exciting little European car with $1 down. At $39.90, the Yugo is still America's best car value. If you're a working couple who needs the freedom of a second car, or you're just looking for an economical workhorse with a convenient hatchback, the Yugo's for you. It's a proven performer, finishing in the top ten at the grueling One Lap of America Road Rally twice. Test drive the Yugo and see for yourself at Prior Olds today. New Chicken Little. New Chicken Little. New Chicken Little. I love to hold you in my hand. Oh, why? I found you at the Colonel. Love you. And you taste so grand. My lover. You're at Kentucky Fried Chicken. So with your little 39 cent price. I love her. Little darling, you taste so nice. You. New Chicken Little sandwiches. You cost just a little, but people love you a lot. Why do 1,000 new customers rich own from Champion TV and appliance rentals every day? I get more for my money at Champion. I always get what I want at Champion. Champion treats you real good. Stop by Champion and find out why everybody's renting on the Champion way. Right now, $5 delivers and pays the first week's rent. That's right, $5. Who has a better deal than Champion? Nobody in this town. The boys coming back into the area. Yeah, we 
we got a uh, one ball, 15 minute time limit match schedule here. Introducing total of 440 pounds out of Memphis, Tennessee, David Johnson and his partner out of Arkansas, William the Freezer Thompson. And going against him at a total of 568 out of Allentown, Pennsylvania, Brian Nobbs and Jerry Sag, the Nasty Boys. One ball, 15 minute time limit. Referee, Jerry Calhoun. Okay, David, I just wanted to say that Randy Bryan was originally scheduled. Randy uh, called and could not make it uh, for the match. And so William Thompson has is, uh, is, volunteered to be back here and the, the partner of David Johnson. Okay, the coats are off. The bell is rung and here we go. Looks like it's going to be Brian Knob starting against William the Freezer Thompson. Freezer comes in at 270 pounds, and that may be a couple of pounds light. Yeah. Come on, man. The Freezer finds himself out to the Nasty Boys. Freezer, that, well, there, now there's an example of the weight. Freezer came off there so hard that uh, as Knob started to hit him, uh, just the momentum that Thompson had, uh, Knob's lost his balance. He recovered quickly, though, and the Nasty Boys retained control of the action here. Jerry Sag in after the tag. And Nobbs himself is a big guy. Uh, both of them, Sag and Nobbs, both yeah, that's very large gentlemen. Exactly right. Boy, the attitude on this sag is... Uh, nasty is right. Oh, That's the word. Really? Nasty attitude is what he has. Drill William Thompson. Knobs zings him across the ring. He did the midsection. There's a cover by Brian Knobs of the Nasty Boys. Tag has been made. David Johnson comes in. Poor David. David's given away at least 70 pounds to everybody in the ring. Yeah, and, and Jerry Sag told Brian Knopf, get talking about Thompson. They said, get him out of here. Get the other guy in. They wanted oh, no. to get to the smaller one. Yeah, they're going to work on him right now. Jerry Sag has him back in the corner, whips across the way, into the turn by holds the hand. Sag in there quickly. Jerry Sag. Has Johnson in the air. He makes the tag. He slams Johnson. Brian Knobs coming in from the corner. Climbs the ropes. He's up on the middle one. Jerry Sag picking him up. Yeah. And a flying clothesline. There's a cover. This is probably a count is two. Yeah, no way David was going to get out of that. A minute 54. The Nasty Boys get the win. Driving off the uh, rope as he nailed him hard and get the win. And the Nasty Boys continue to be just that as they not only win it, they're beating now, kicking David Johnson out on the floor. Want to remind you that coming your way in August is going to be in many cities the Super Tour 87. Here's kind of a recap of some of the action and people that will be there. Championship Wrestling Super Tour 87 is coming soon to these cities. The heavyweight Look at there, they've already split the sheet open. I'll never 
never seen anybody put a mark on the chick before. But oh. wow. Look at the champions. The champions are laying out here. I cannot believe what Wahoo McDaniels and G.J. Peterson have done to the world tag team champions. And also the Sheik. And now the Sheik is left. Cowboy Sid and Sheena the Fire Breathing Wonder Horse here with Crystal's free Hot Deal Coupon Book. Sizzling with savings of over $28 on Crystal Food and loads more. Bring these coupons to Crystal, save over $3 on great eating, and take these coupons to service merchandise and save big on all of these. Best of all, we'll show them, Sheila. Crystal's Hot Deal Coupon Book is free. So blaze a trail to Crystal and pick up your free coupon book. <laughs> Whoa, it's hot. Or try caffeine-free Diet Coke. Same great taste as Diet Coke without the caffeine. Just for the taste of me, Diet Coke. Wasting time is wasting you. You've looked at jobs, maybe even schools, and found nothing that works for you. It's time you look at Southeast College of Technology. Southeast College teaches the computer skills that are in demand today. Call us, 345-1000.
1,000. What have you got to lose? It's hot out today, so enjoy all day splashing, sliding, wild and wet waves of summer fun at Adventure River. Spend lazy summer days in cool waters of Adventure Beach Wave Pool and slide down twisting, churning body slides. Check for special entertainment at Friday's Playbook. Adventure River I-40, exit 14, call 382 Wave. Adventure River, Adventure River, Adventure River. Adventure River, we're making a splash. Oh, Adventure River. Okay, we're waiting for the participants to get in for our six-man match. Rough and ready coming in. And Keith Eric, across the way, nobody. We're looking for Mark Star, Allen West, and John Paul. There they are. Here they come. This is going to be an expiration of time. Six-man tag team match. Got a ring full of them. Total weight of 630 pounds from Memphis, Tennessee. Keith Eric and from Parts Unknown. Rough and ready. Their manager ball is winner. Total weight of 701 pounds. Introducing from Tampa, Florida, Mark Starr. From Zuma Beach, California, Alan West. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, John Paul. This match will be to the expiration of time. Jerry Calhoun will try to keep them separated in there. Good description of the referee's job. Here we go. It's Keith Eric starting against Zuma Beach's Alan West. West weighs in at 250 pounds. Keith Eric at considerably less. Keith with a shoulder butt off the ropes. Alan West on the mat, but Alan sets. This time he lets Keith go right under. Grabs him coming off the ropes and rolls him down to the mat. And through the ring. Walt Winter screaming down at ringside. He was pulling tight. He was pulling hair. He's complaining about anything he thinks the referee might listen to. Referee's trying to send him back to the neutral corner, to the uh, corner of his team. Tag made, and this is Mark Starr, young guy out of Tampa, Florida. One of the better drop kicks is Mark Starr's. He got a count of two on Keith Eric, but couldn't make it stick for a three count. Eric quickly back over. And here comes Ruff of the Rough and Ready team. Ralph Winter said, you're going to see some action now. He's in there. He saw it all We're right. seeing action, but Mark Starr in control. Boy, he took that old rolling arm lock, and he slammed him into that mat. Bang on John Paul. We're running out of time, Dave. I think we've got about two minutes before we got to split out of this match in here, and John Paul working on a rough. You see the man driving the mat. You see that. That's Boss Winter. You may be hearing at ringside. He's talking about mask grabbing and all of that. There's a cover for a count of one. Shoulders were down. Alan West coming back in. He's the biggest man in the match. 250 pounds. There's a tag, and this is ready. It's rough and ready. Yeah, yeah, we're ready, says Boss Winter. We got ready in here. Yeah, he's ready. Ready not to be body slammed, but to be thrown a halfway across the ring. Not back up on his feet yet. Now he is hanging close to the corner. Time winding down here in this match. Expiration of time. This is one of those you'd like to have about 45 minutes for, but unfortunately we don't. Minutes to go, Dave, before we're going to have to get out of here. Yes, time is running out. Yeah. Uh, a little monkey flip out of the corner, and boy, did he fire him across the ring. He must have traveled 12 feet in the air at least. Power slam by Alan West. Tag made on Mark Starr. Our time is just about up. Wow, what a clothesline Starr hit him with. He's got a cover. He's got a two and a three. He gets the win. Just beat the time limit. Mark Starr, Alan West, and John Paul get the victory.
victory and its expiration of time first fall. There they have Gray. Three minutes, 15 seconds was the time. We'll check the time out. Be back in just a moment. Hi, I'm Charles Hayes, president of Hayes and Son Body Shop, located at 1169 South 1st Street in Macklemore. Here at Hayes and Son, we're dedicated to giving only the best in quality service. Our expert body repairmen specialize in all types of body repair using the latest and frame equipment. Our mechanics specialize in all types of mechanical repair. Our poster department is tops in vinyl roof and interior. And our paint will paint your car, truck, or bus using only the best in paints and material. And I will personally supervise each job to see that it is done to your Hayes and Son Body Shop, located at 1169 South 1st Street at Macklemore. Our reputation is traveling fast. Now that our reputation is at stake. Oh. If you don't come in, you're missing out on something fabulous. New steak fajitas. Think of it as a Mexican steak sandwich. Hello, Taco Bell. You think motor oil just motor oil? Oh, there's motor oil and mm, there's Valvoline. And now with Valvoline's no weight rebate, you get 20 cents off every quart of these Valvoline motor oils instantly at the cash register. Yeah, I'm sure other motor oils have rebates, but you got to mail them in. Take a hike. <sighs> My suggestion, get the Valvoline performance and the 20 cents a quart no weight rebate without spending 22 cents. The NFL is coming. The St. Louis Football Cardinals and the Kansas City Chiefs bring professional football to our newly expanded Liberty Bowl. And as your official TV station for this game, TV5 invites you to be a part of this historic event. For tickets, call 272-1214 or 278-4747. And join us in the Liberty Bowl September 6th when the St. Louis Football Cardinals and the Kansas City Chiefs bring the NFL to the Mid-South. Okay, I want to remind you folks out there again, get your request in for your tickets to Studio Wrestling. That's Wrestling Tickets, WMC-TV in 1960 Union Avenue, Memphis, 38104. If you are a group where you need more tickets, be sure and put a phone number of some responsible person we can talk to. Now, Monday night, Mid-South Coliseum, Price is Right Championship Wrestling Match will be the headliner on that night. We want to tell you that all the students from kindergarten right through the 12th grade can get into general admission two dollar that's right hope maybe you'll take advantage of it come on down and join us for a big night of a lot of wrestling bill dundee and george barnes jeff jarrett and billy travis defending against the nasty boys 10-man elimination many many other matches will in fact be in store for you as the bell will be sounding off about eight o'clock so get your tickets as early as you can we'll be looking for you down there david i've talked this right smack out of time glad to have our philadelphia friends down with us again We'll see all of you next week, and until that time, Lance Russell for Dave Brown saying bye-bye.